Hello, the time is 12.23 a.m. Newfoundland time. Um, I just mentioned on um, Twitter and Facebook and other areas that um, I was about to make a video about my first encounter with three RCMP officers um, during a snowstorm. It's my first encounter with them ever here. With, with them ever. Um, the snow got really bad. The storm got really bad. I, apparently I was really high up in a mountain area or something. Maybe not really high to some people, but my legs tell me it was really high and so do my feet now that I'm not walking. Um, it's amazing when I'm, when I stop walking, how pain just says, hello. Well, it doesn't say that, but it just lets me know it's here. Anyway, not the point of the video. Um, the snow was getting really bad. Um, well, it wasn't getting really bad. It was, it got really bad and then got worse. Um, and I, uh, I turned, I turned around when I, I saw two cars coming. Um, well, I saw their headlights and you could barely see anything. I couldn't see my hand in front of my face for the dark. And then when I turned on a light, um, honestly, the snowflakes almost gave me a seizure. It was like, it was like strobe light. Um, anyway, um, the two cars approached, they were approaching really slow. Uh, I shined my flashlight on me, waved my, waved my hand around, and all of a sudden blue lights came on. It was the RCMP. Um, when they got out, they were, uh, there were three of them, it was two cars. Um, they were incredibly friendly. Um, they weren't, they weren't patronizing, they weren't condescending, they, they listened. And I told them who I was, what I was doing, and the one officer, he brought it up on his phone. He brought up the story from um, St. John's, Newfoundland, um, the telegram. I believe it's telegram.com, the story that was done in that paper. Anyway, he brought it up, and um, all my stuff was put in the trunk. I was pat down, and they just said, you got to get off the highway by and they told me one said i was really courageous the other one said i'm nuts um they were phenomenal to me uh it was just around um arnold's cove um anyway they got me into the car got me off the highway i i made another video just pre i made a few videos but i made one about um being out in the middle of nowhere in that storm and it was pitch black i couldn't see anything not because of the snow but because of the dark and then when i did turn the light on all i could see was snow um i was terrified i wasn't afraid of being out there what i was afraid of was if i fall and hurt myself or if anything happens nobody knows where i am and the cars were bare. the traffic was very few um, I, I'm honestly not exaggerating. When a car went by, the tire tracks were there, and it honestly wasn't a minute and a half later that the tire tracks were covered in snow. They were gone. Um, I'm incredibly tired. Anyway, I never ever thought I would say that. Well, I, I don't think I ever thought I'd have an encounter with the RCMP. Um, but honestly, a huge, huge thank you. Uh, they brought me to a um, truck stop, and... Um, I, um, I'm in a lounge thing. I'm going to have a shower shortly, and I'm going to rest. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. Um, yeah, they brought me, I, I guess I was in the car probably about 20 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, I, I got in the car around um, Arnold's Cove, I believe it's called. I was heading there because a lady in Bellevue told me that I would be able to get shelter there at a coffee shop and blah 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 but no everything was closed everything's closed in Arnold Cove um, so yeah anyway obviously I won't be um, I won't be making Clarenville tonight I will make Clarenville at some point um, tomorrow morning tomorrow afternoon tomorrow afternoon um, I uh, I promised my, my, my best friend Merv and his wife no more walking in the dark here in Newfoundland. Um, I'm not going to walk in the dark in Nova Scotia, in Cape Breton anyway, and PEI because the towns are few and far between. Um, in mainland Nova Scotia there's some towns, but whatever. Ontario, yeah, I'm fine with it because the city's... I keep hitting cities, city, 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 town, 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 but out here, 
No. But anyway, the police loaded all of my stuff into the trunk, said get in, googled what I was doing to make sure that it was, you know, for real, and got me here, and the people here at the Irving gas station are phenomenal. Um, the, the whole, everybody here is just incredible. Um, anyway, I'm safe for the night, and huge thank you to the RCMP. I could have froze to death out there. I was, I was starting to slow down. I was getting tired, and I think I've walked uh, just about 150-something kilometers in Newfoundland. I think it was 200-and-something in Ontario. It, I know it was just over 200 because it was from St. Thomas to Toronto and a few places in between. Um, anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to go to sleep.